Hi, so I wanted to show you guys a little closer up um, video of the Ultra Micro Gentle Lady glider and uh, the little power pod. And actually, I wanted to show you kind of more of the workings of how it is, how it works. All right, so we'll take this off. There's the cover, the canopy, whatever you want to call it. Now here's how the batteries connect. I'll move the propeller. Here's how the batteries connect. Right here's the battery connects into a harness that I made, and that goes directly to the power pod. And then this other side right here, this wire goes to the receiver, which is I believe it's a Orange RX 615. Pretty fabulous little receiver. I've been really thrilled with it. All right. And we'll take off, there we go, we'll unplug the power pod, right there, alright, and then there's the servos, too close, sorry guys. There we go. Took a second to get it to focus, but these are the Hobby King uh, 5230s, I believe, is what they're called, and they basically just push a rod that goes through a little carbon fiber rod that goes through bulkheads right here. You can see each bulkhead in the fuselage, and then on the on the oh, we'll focus again because it's a little farther away. One of the rods exits right here and comes back to the elevator. And then the other one exits right here on the top and that works the rudder. And anyway, this has been an absolute blast. I have to tell you it was just kind of a pet project when I started it, but there will be many many more of them and I'm kind of excited about that so anyway I showed you the timer I think just for a second while the motor was running um, now I'll show you that's a little timer it's about one centimeter by one centimeter size and then he uses a momentary switch that's a falling trigger and you, you push it and that um, starts the time and basically it runs full power until the time goes off right up at the top corner right there there is a potentiometer that you can twist and and turn to change the the run time but it's not it doesn't have very high resolution as far as that adjustment and so it, it seems to me that all I seem to get is between 8 and 15 seconds and then it, the next kind of step even just barely moving it puts it all the way up to a minute and a minute's perfect so I'm, I've settled on a minute and just stayed with it alright so here's this is the this is the laser layout that I used for the power pod um, essentially and all of these pieces here are pieces that make up the tank they stack on the front of the tank together and and uh, it I think it's a pretty convincing little Cox motor and it's I mean it's tiny <laughs> it is really tiny um, I, oh there's also a there's also a kit for the cylinders too well there's a good shot you can see the the uh, the cylinder veins on it, fins, um, makes a pretty convincing little Cox motor. There was something I was going to show you. Oh, yes. Um, where's my ruler? Because you, you just have to, you just, it's hard to get an idea of the true size of this thing. The prop is, it's a two inch prop. It's literally a two inch prop. It's probably two and a sixteenth. Anyway, 
tiny. <laughs> tiny, but what a kick. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Here was the other project I worked on this last week. It's an ultra micro uh, sterling, uh, well, uh, uh, not sterling, uh, ringmaster. And uh, this has been an absolute blast too. And it's using the same exact, same exact um, motor, same exact combo. The motor came from this little hub sand quadcopter that my son got for Christmas last year. He broke it. It's been sitting around for a while. And I saw those motors and I thought, and, and I played with it a little bit when he, when he was flying it around. And I was impressed with the motors and how much thrust these little tiny propellers put out. And I was like, man, you could make some cool stuff with that. And so that's what I've been doing this last year, making some cool stuff. Anyway, if you want to check out the video, I, I'm posting a video. I haven't posted it yet, but I'm posting a video on this little control line. Um, and uh, it flies. And it actually did a loop. And it was a little bit touchy and sensitive, so I know that there's settings I have to get better. But it's going to, it's going to get better. One of the things that I did to, to make it better was this was my original bell crank right here. We'll focus on it. This is my original bell crank, and I changed the design to this one right here, which is the same the same geometry from string to string, but it's shorter from the pivot from the pivot point to the yeah or fulcrum to the arm, right there, and that's where. Why is, why is my problem? There we go. So there's the difference. And then this is the control arm, uh, the elevator control horn. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope you guys have a great day. And thanks for all of your interest on RC groups and, and elsewhere. I really appreciate it. It does drive me to, to do better and, and work on things. All right. Thanks a lot, you guys. Have a great day.